that we are simply taking funding from the federal government on a nine to one match where it used to be a two to one match. And oh, by the way, except for singles with no children, we already have that program and have always had that program with the federal government where they match our spending in the state. So if you're married, you have children, you're getting that federal match today. The state puts in a dollar, the feds put in matching funds in some formula. So what we're doing with this expansion, quote unquote, the governor likes to call it a restoration because it was there before and now we're putting it back in. We're bringing the singles with no children back into the program that they were already in before 2011. Okay, now uh, just to follow up for that and then uh, PJ, you're next, so stand up. Just a quick follow-up to that. You say nine to one instead of two to one. Well, you know they don't have the money, and the federal government is you and I. It's not a it's not a money tree in Washington that we can all go get the money off of. So uh, mm -hmm. the federal government is seventeen trillion dollars in debt. Actually, a hundred trillion when you add in Social Security and Medicare. So when you say we can get nine to one. They're borrowing that money from China to give us nine to one, which we know in a few years they'll probably draw down on, especially if there's a Republican president. So at that point, how do we plan to handle the program? Well, first of all, you guys all heard the governor talk about the circuit breaker. I didn't like the circuit breaker the way it was written. And so in exchange for my vote, I got paragraph 31, 32, and 33 in this bill that says that it's not good enough just to pull the circuit breaker. We have to have a viable plan because I do not believe in more than three or four years the federal government will have the money there you go. to match. I don't believe it's That's right. Either. So do we have that viable plan right now? No. no. And we did not, as a party, propose a viable plan. The plan that the Senate bill, that was the alternative to the governor's plan, was to completely array our rainy day fund in the next two years, and then we would be in a structural deficit there, thereafter, to the tune of $250 million a year. That is not a viable plan. That means eventually you have to raise taxes. And on the state people, not everybody, but just the state. So in my opinion, I have asked to be on a team to study over the next two to three years, when I know the feds are not gonna be able to keep this spending habit up, right. to have not just a circuit breaker, but have a viable plan to remove these costs out of the state budget okay. and put it back on the private okay. side. My, my, uh, uh, my sources told me that the Republicans' plan was to continue on as we are and add as we could, which sounded viable to me, to expand at our rate, not the federal government's rate. And, and I thought that was a pretty good plan. But let's, let, me, let me go to PJ.